Hi and welcome back to Cotton Creations. So today I'm super excited because I have another DIY project for you. And today what I'm gonna be sharing with you is a over the top and fabulous centerpiece. Uh, this centerpiece is very affordable and you can use it for weddings, for bridal showers, for baby showers, birthday parties, any type of formal event that you wanna have something nice over the top and you know, elegant at the same time, then this is the project for you. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. But before we hop into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the great videos I have coming your way. Let's hop into it. So to get started, you wanna leave the blue plastic wrap on the plate and you wanna measure it and put a dot in the center. So this is 12 inches. So I'm gonna put a dot at six inches, which is the center. And then I'm gonna go out. I went out on this video about half an inch and put dots there, but I really probably should have went three fourths of an inch out. Um, and that way you can actually line up your acrylic pipe to be centered on the acrylic plate. So after you're done that, just take the blue film off the side that does not have the dots so that you can see the, the dots and then it'll make it easier when you go to line up your pipe. So I got this um, plastic weld that is supposedly good to use to seal um, and weld together acrylic and it actually worked. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put all the details in the description box below. But all you do is hold your acrylic pieces together and you take the weld and you just go around it and let it seal. Now I did let this dry for about two hours and then I went back in and I did another coat. And I probably went back in and did maybe four coats. So I let it dry in between each coat for a couple of hours and then went back in and I let it dry for um, two days. But it was definitely ready after drying overnight. For the next step, you wanna go ahead and remove that plastic adhesive from the hula hoop. And then you can go ahead and sand your hula hoop, wipe it off, um, all the debris from the sanding, and then you can go ahead and spray paint it. Next, let's go ahead and check back on our acrylic stand. And as you can see, it's all dry. So at this point, you could remove the other um, blue film, but I just left it on there until I'm absolutely ready for it to come off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the top of our stand. So you're gonna take two foam boards and you're going to cut out a circle. And I this was the closest thing that I had to the size circle that I needed it to be. I'll have to put the measurements down below. So then what I'm doing is taking uh, a piece of round floral foam and I'm gonna cut out the center of the foam board so that the floral foam can sit um, down inside of the two pieces of foam board. So next I'm just going to double check to make sure that that floral foam does fit nice and snug inside the foam board. So now we're going to glue our two pieces of foam board together. I'm just using some clear regular glue from the dollar store to do this and actually it adhered pretty quickly. So it's not something you have to necessarily wait to, for it to dry before you can move on to the next step.
So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my drill and I'm going to actually drill some holes into the foam board so that way we can attach it to our hula hoop with some fishing line. So I put six holes. Um, I just eyeballed it but of course if you want to get accurate measurements you can always measure and make sure that they're equal distance apart from one another. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take that same piece of floral foam and we're going to dig out a groove that the uh, acrylic pipe can sit into. So that's what I'm doing here. So when you go to dig out the groove, uh, what you want to do is you want to work towards the center opposed to working your way to the edges and the outer part. In the video, I'm working toward the outer part and then I realized that I needed to be working towards the center because what you're trying to do is create a small um, piece of floral foam that can sit right inside of that pipe. Um, so as you can see right here, that pipe goes right into that small center piece that I dug out, goes right inside of the acrylic pipe and it fits nice and snug and that's what you want. So here I'm just doing a quick check of all the components of the stand just to make sure that it's lining up and working out the way I had envisioned in my head. So next what I'm going to do is seal that floral foam with some hot glue both on the top and the bottom of the foam board. So next it's time to attach our hula hoop and what we're going to do is use some fishing line and we're going to place that through the holes that we drilled earlier and then we're going to take one piece of that fishing line and wrap it around the hula hoop and then tie it uh, with the other end. And what I found that worked best for me is if I did one hole and then I go directly opposite and do that um, hole right across so that I can keep the hula hoop centered. I also want to point out that I also put a dab of hot glue onto the um, hole after the fishing line is in the hole just to kind of add a little bit more security and make sure that the fishing line isn't moving too much or anything like that and that it's nice and snug and so that worked out great. And here's what everything should look like once you place it all together. So now that our stand is complete, we're going to go ahead and begin to decorate. And I found that it was easier to decorate the hula hoop with it not being on the stand. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking some floral wire and you can use any type of wire and a T-pin and I'm just going to place a hole with the T-pin and then I'm going to use the floral wire to go through my acrylic garland and then I'm going to push that through the hole on the foam board and then I'm going to flip the foam board over and I'm just going to flatten out the floral foam or excuse me the floral wire so that it holds the acrylic gems in place. Now I didn't do this in this video, but I would strongly recommend that once you get uh, your stand complete that you do add some E6000 uh, hot glue or some type of glue um, to the top of the stand where the floral foam is and that acrylic pipe so that it is nice and stable. I'm planning to use um, the base of this stand for a few other projects and so that's the only reason that I didn't seal it uh, but I would definitely recommend that you do it for yours. 
All right, so I'm gonna take a quick pause just to let you guys know that I did run into some challenges when it came to attaching the balloons and the flowers. So in the rest of the video, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what happened and where I landed and how things turned out. But I am planning to do a part two of this video where I actually perfect and give you guys the best method of how to uh, attach your balloons to the centerpiece. And when that video is ready, I'll link it up right here so you guys can watch it and check it out. But for now, if you're interested in seeing how I attach the balloons and the flowers, stay tuned. So with these balloons, I thought that the best way to do it was to do a balloon garland um, but I realized afterwards that my hula hoop is the medium size instead of the smallest size that the Dollar Tree has so it ended up being massive like it was so big and the circle of balloons are way more than what I wanted um, so I think the better option is to actually hot glue them on a low temperature hot glue gun um, to the hula hoop and the foam board would be a better option um, because the hula hoop is just too big. If I had the smaller hula hoop, then this probably would work perfect. But like I said, um, you live and you learn. A lot, As most of you DIYers know, a lot of this is trial and error. So there you have it. So after I got the balloons attached to the hula hoop, I then proceeded to add the florals and the vendor that I ordered these hydrangeas from did not send me any stems, it's just the heads. So I decided to try to attach them using some glue dots um, and then I eventually used a low temperature hot glue gun. And then I also got these other um, you know, floral pieces to add to it with the pearls. So you can add whatever you want. You don't have to necessarily use hydrangeas. You can use roses, lilies, um, all sorts of things. So get very creative and make yours however you choose. All right, once you're done, you can go ahead and attach it back onto your acrylic base. And like I said, you wanna definitely make sure it's nice and secure with, I would say some E6000 or Gorilla Glue. Alright, so we got through that. <laughs> As I said before, I did run into some challenges with attaching the balloons. Um, and so in the perfected video, what I'm planning to do and I think will be a totally better method is, um, is to hot glue the balloons onto the hula hoop and the foam board. So I think that'll work out better. It'll thin it out. It won't be as massive because <laughs> uh, it was truly massive. And then I uh, also with the flowers like I don't know why my vendor did not provide the stems to the heads but obviously I didn't have the stems which made it a challenge as far as attaching the hydrangeas so I'm just gonna probably go with a different floral or something else um, in the part two of the video so like I said, once that video is ready, I will definitely link it up here for you guys to take a look at it. But for the time being, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this project. If it's something that you'll try out. If you like this video, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the great videos I have coming your way. Thanks for watching.